All right, y'all. Your boy TT and Ja just got a fucking cut. Finally, been like two months since I had a cut, bro. So it feel good to be fresh again. Um, damn, this lighting is terrible. But um, <laughs> so pretty much today we finna just be doing some shit. You know, going to stores. You know, just hanging out me and my girl. So finna just be vlogging for y'all. Um, she gonna get her nail. She gonna get her nails done right now. Her nail appointment was at ten. My haircut point was at 9.30. So I'm finna walk down to this little part, you know, hoop for a little minute. And then, you feel me? Once she get done, she gonna come scoop me. And then we should be going doing our little errands. Make sure I smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if y'all new. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I be getting, I'm getting too used to, I'm getting too used to vlogging, bro. Like, I'm getting way more used to vlogging and shit now. Like, I used to be nervous to like vlog around people, but like, it was just a nigga in the car, you know what I'm saying? right there and I ain't give a fuck. But if that was me like a year ago, I would have put the camera down or I would have stopped recording just cause I was nervous and shit. So if y'all YouTuber man, y'all like nervous to vlog around people, <laughs> just make sure y'all, you know, get used to it by just doing it. You just have to do it to get used to it. So that's my advice to y'all. I'm gonna walk down to this park, shoot around for a little minute and I'll get back with y'all in the next clip. You dig? This video is at 7.9k in a year, y'all. That's then there 8,000 views, bro. A sit down video. Look. Look at this shit. This shit crazy. Like, it's crazy how much that, that video been uh, growing, man. That video been growing like day in and day out, bro. Like that video literally, it's still getting views to this day. You feel me? That's what keep me pushing for real. I got videos that are still growing, bro. That shit crazy as a bitch. But as I'm as I'm down at this park and shit, hooping up, I just noticed that I'm really like one of the coldest niggas, bro. Like on the tube. So if anybody wanna one v one me, man, let me know down below in the comments, cause I'm confident. I'm confident that I won't lose. I don't think I have ever lost on my channel, so it's it's pretty apparent to me that I'm not ever gonna lose on my channel. So if you if you wanna Give you my first L on my channel. Comment down below. Let's 1v1 this shit so I can make sure I niggas up on my on my channel. I can't lose on my own channel. It's just impossible. Like, I don't lose. So anybody that wants to 1v1 me, I know Ant when they 1v1 me, but we haven't set it up. I'm already know I'm going to kill Ant. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to do Ant worse than I did James. Uh, Especially if we play, like, rebounds and shit. If we play rebounds, I'm winning every 1v1. That's why I did possessions with James because I'm like... I know James can't fuck with me enough to play rebounds. I know he needs to, he needs to do possessions. Playing possessions is really harder because you really gotta be efficient if you want to like beat the nigga faster and shit. You gotta be efficient. You can't miss really that much. And I was missing a lot. We played hella five games before that one v one. But if we play rebounds, I'm not losing. Simple as that. So just a quick little note. I want to turn the camera on for me to get back to hooping and shit. So all right, y'all. So now. uh just left the park my girl came put me up she got to take something back to uh Coles, i guess you know what i'm saying she got to take something back to Coles. so that's what she going to do right now i was going to go in with her but as soon as i'm going to get out she's like you going in and i'm like damn like you can tell somebody don't you get out type shit so she's just going to go do that real quick you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just go let her do that uh yeah i don't know what we doing I, oh yeah we going to walmart after this i have to go get some totes because i have to move pretty soon like i mentioned like, I, t I think I told y'all guys in one of my last videos that I got to move out of my apartment here soon, probably in the next week or so. I got to hurry up and get stuff figured out. I got to, but I got to go get some totes so I can, you know, move easier. You know what I'm saying? It's easier to move with, like, totes, like, big totes and shit, rather than just, like, you know, just hauling it all. You know what I'm saying? It's basically just so we can move more, more organizedly. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the plan so far. Uh... Do I even, I don't, it don't look like I got a haircut, bro. Like, like if you if I didn't lift my hair up, you would not know I had a haircut. Like that's crazy. But yeah, my shit, my shit crispy. My shit crispy. It been a minute, bro. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about my dress now is like, bro. Ever since I had, got, ever since my dress started getting long, like I really do not be caring for hair. Like that's bad. I do care. But I just don't get haircuts as much. Like I used to get haircuts every other week. Like I should stay on top of that shit. But now it's like I just be like, I be going like a month. I be going like two. I be going like a month or two without a haircut. 
like willing like not willingly but just naturally bro like i don't be thinking about it like that but i got an open house tomorrow so i have to go get me a cut uh and then tomorrow um tomorrow i'm getting my hair done you know what i'm saying i'm getting a retwist i ain't get a retwist since prom you know what i'm saying i've been trying to i've been trying to space out the retwist because you know what i'm saying my dress getting skinny as fuck you see this this is why i'm finna get rid of my dress bro i know a lot of people like hell no don't don't cut your hair you've been growing it but i just want to restart my dress bro like i want to restart my dreads and actually give me a nice set of locks like ain't no like i mean it is a lot wrong with these but i just didn't start them right like when i started these dreads i started them on my own and i didn't really know what i was doing i was like 14 you know what i'm saying i was like 14 starting my own dreads and shit like that so they came out they didn't come out how i wanted them to basically when they got longer so i just want to restart my dreads i want thicker i want thicker dreads and i want them more like parted better you know what i'm saying because the way i started my dreads i just did the uh sponge brush method where i had like a little fro and i'll literally just you know sponge brush it until it started like kind of like turning into dreads then i retwisted those with locking gel and from then on i just kept getting retwisted eventually my hair locked up you know what i'm saying so this this like this way i want to just cut my hair down probably what i'm gonna do for real i'm probably just gonna get lineups and not get this faded for a long time like probably for like probably for like two three months i'm gonna just keep getting lineups and then i'm gonna let this shit grow out a little bit and then you feel me i'm gonna just cut my dress down and i'm gonna just even it all up and shit like that and then have a little fro and then probably restart my dress and shit huh yeah She just so moosey, y'all. Why you ain't open the door to close it? What you talking about, man? You said a dingin' the whole time? No, I wasn't. You just lied to me, man. Shut up. I didn't see her cut. You didn't see it? I was just telling them how I don't look like I got a haircut. Yes, I do. Like, I'm saying, if I had my hair done, you couldn't tell if I had a haircut. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Turn this one. I wish you used to know it the other way. Like it. Yeah, you have I'll, sweaty as a bitch. <laughs> I'll just tell them how I'm finna uh, restore my dreams. Yeah. You think I should too, right? Yeah. 